documents were destroyed today when a fire consumed the archives at the Bandarwala Magistrate Court. Police suspect that the fire may have been caused by an act of arson carried out by an unidentified group. Area residents reported seeing smoke spreading from the archives of the Bandaravela Magistrates Court at about 9 a.m. this morning. I called the police and I went to the house of another man who is employed by the court. Then I called sir and told him that such a thing was happening. The blaze was put out by the fire brigade of the Bandaravela Municipal Council with the support of the police. Numerous court documents stored in the archives were destroyed in the fire. <laughs> Police dogs were deployed this morning as part of the investigation into the cause of the fire. Police suspect that the arsonists may have scaled the wall of the adjoining school in order to gain access to the court complex. Police are also examining security camera recordings. Special police teams incorporating police intelligence and the police special task force have been deployed for the investigation into the fire. The magisterial inquest was carried out this afternoon by the magistrate of Badulla and Bandaravela. The government analyst was also summoned to the scene this evening. If there are those who think they can secure an acquittal in any case against them by carrying out such acts, they are mistaken. Even if these documents are destroyed, files on cases before the magistrate's court are also with the relevant police stations and the hearings can resume using those documents and fresh files can be opened at the court using those documents. In addition to this, there are also files with the Attorney General's Department, especially in the case of criminal cases before the High Court. When it comes to civil cases too, there are case files with the lawyers representing both parties, so the case can continue with these documents.